Hello! In this video we will uh, design and create a simple linear voltage re regulator using, uh, using AMS 111 server voltage re regulator and, and, and circuit, circuit maker. So, let's begin. Uh, first thing first, we need to uh, choose our component. So, because I would like to create this with uh, JLC PCBs, I'm uh, going and checking the, uh, that our component are available inside JLC PCBs. So, the main component for us is AMS 1117 linear voltage regulator, and I would like to use the fixed one that that uh, will output 3.3 uh, volts. So we would like to design some kind of voltage regulator that can be used for ESP32 or or something like that. So simple 5 to uh, 3.3 voltage voltage drop. Uh, and I think that this this one is perfect to use for it. Furthermore, this exact voltage regulator is used uh, in uh, ESP32 development ports such as Node MCU. So, if we check uh, its current implementation in uh, Node MCU, it looks something like like this. But let's uh, compare this implementation to implementation that is uh, currently inside datasheet for for our uh, voltage regulator. So what we need to know, uh, we need to know to open datasheet, which we have the link here, and then uh, go to the uh, application hints, and now. We just need to know uh, what is the output capacitor and input capacitor. As I said, we would like to use the uh, fixed version that has uh, that has uh, output of 3.3 volts. So we will not have this adjustment that is shown here. Only thing that we need to know is that we need to add 25 microfarad uh, capacitor on the output to ensure operation stability for all conditions. Uh, we don't need the bike packs capacitor and so on. we don't need protection diode and so that is basically it. So our schematic should look something like this but without this adjustment part here. So we need 22 microfarad uh, output capacitor and we need uh, the input capacitor of uh, 10 microfarad. Again, I would like to add this a bit by, by adding the uh, LED diode, but I don't want to add the LED diode on a uh, 5 vol volt rail. I would like to add it here. So in addition, I would like to uh, add SMD LED diode and uh, one, one, one resistor to, to limit the current. And uh, I, I'm thinking about adding two uh, decoupling capacitors on input and the output. So knowing this and knowing that my component should be MS1107, now I need to, to, to uh, check out other, other, other parts. First one, uh, we should use the, the, the uh, we should use the uh, out capacitor of 22 microfarad, and basically the right choice is 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 this one. The next again, we'll use uh, 10 10 microfarad uh, capacitor for the input. As well as I would add, uh, I would add two really small capacitors uh, on input and output as uh, decoupling capacitors. Then we just need to to choose about uh, choose our LED diode. I would choose LED diode that is uh, emitting the red light, and it's in um, 0805 format. So in order to check out the the current that, that is needed for this orb 
exactly to choose the right uh, register that is needed for this kind of application. Uh, I found this uh, very nice uh, LCD series resistor calculator and we can simply put in the informations here. But uh, how do you figure out those two inf informations? So uh, we need to uh, check out this uh, for voltage. You have even here the typical values but the best way is exactly to open the datasheet direct from uh, JS PCBs and inside the, inside the datasheet of the diode look for forward voltage and basically take the typical value and paste it here and now you need to just to uh, limit to input this amount of current that uh, you would like to go through uh, uh, your diode and basically that your uh, resistor value is calculated. So we would need resistor value around uh, 520 uh, ohms but even 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 a resistor from uh, 510 ohms is good enough. Again I'm choosing the format uh, 0805 as the surface mount Registers, so not not too big, not too small. Uh, in addition to this, we need some, we will need some some kind of uh, input connector. So I think the regular screw terminals are pretty pretty much okay. And now, when we know all this, we can simply go to our uh, uh, we can simply go to circuit maker. And I will now start this project from scratch. So file, new project, voltage regulator, and click create. Now let's go to our uh, voltage track project and let's start adding uh, a schematic. We can call this main schematic. and press OK. Now we need to uh, input our components and if we split the screen something like this now we can start. Go to the home, go to place part and here we have our library. The good uh, thing about uh, the circuit maker is that you have uh, you have this online library with I think all of the components that you need so you don't have to worry about anything so if we basically just copy and paste this into here the name of our voltage re regulator and press enter we should uh, be able to get uh, 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 to get the right component and correctly you see we have our component and if we scroll down we see a schematic, uh, a schematic input and we see 3D input but this is not correct one. Let's check the one below. Good schematic, good uh, 3D view, let's check 2D. So yeah exactly this is what we need. So right click place and put it in the middle of the screen. Now we have our uh, our voltage regulator. So the second part is our output capacitor. So I will do the same thing. Uh, go to parts and input the full name and press enter. We can double check. Uh, we can double check the the, the footprint directly from gel PCB. This looks pretty okay. Just the one difference is that uh, instead of plus here, we have this uh, uh, white dot here to, to tell us where we should add the positive side. So basically, if you are okay with this, let's check the other one. Okay, here we don't have anything. So for sure, we will check this one, right click, place and place capacitor at the uh, at the output now let's do again the same thing 
the same thing for the input capacitor again copy part paste search choose exactly the same one this again is a bit smaller than previous one so this match up again place and this will be our input so we should add it to the uh, at the input input branch okay so uh, next, 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 we can add this uh, to the couple, uh, the couple capacitors, and let's uh, check the same way. So, select the name, part, paste, search. So it's finding everything. So this is a regular small capacitor, and it should have uh, a regular. 0805 footprint. So let's place this and we should put one uh, to the input branch and one to the uh, output section. Now let's add our uh, LED diode. The same, uh, the same thing. Copy, paste, search. Okay, so we are not seeing this, this diode, but basically what we need is uh, the same foot, foot, footprint uh, for any uh, any A05 component. So let's just try to input something different, something like this, and search. And here we have a lot of uh, LED dyes. So let's double check the 3D format. And let's, for example, take uh, this one. It has yeah, it has uh, 3D view. It has good footprint, so we can. Or should I take this one or this one? So maybe maybe take just this one because here we have definition that this this is for sure uh, 0805. So let's just place this one and should place this one closer to the output. And I think one of the last components we need our uh, resistor so i also think that if we just input this this will not work so let's do something like this go to the parts place search and i think first and second one are completely fine Let's use the second one, place, and place it close to the diet. Now, just one last thing, we need to add this, uh, these uh, screw terminals in order to have the, some kind of uh, input and output for 5 volts and the output for, for 3.3 volts. So we will use the simple 5 millimeter uh, screw terminal and let's check is something like this available inside inside circuit maker, uh, maker uh, library so just input the screw terminal and let's see what uh, what are our options so no let's input the 5 mm and exactly this so basically need uh, this contact yeah exactly so let's place put one for uh, input voltage one for output voltage and we don't need this part anymore and now 
we can start uh, start connecting uh, our schematic. Uh, one thing that I don't like by this default uh, schematic block for our uh, our voltage re regulator, first thing first, uh, the name is uh, is too long. So by double click, uh, we can we can change uh, first designator. So I will place this as U1, and here I will just uh, because I would like to see the name. And uh, uh, but not uh, this detailed. I will remove this, and that is it for for this. Uh, the other thing is I would like to have the input voltage on the left side, the output voltage on the on the right side. But uh, I don't like that. Uh, uh, my ground terminal is uh, is on the top. So I would like to switch the positions of the vein and the ground, uh, and we can do that by uh, pressing and selecting the voltage uh, voltage regulator component. And when it's in this floating mode, we can simply press Y. Uh, this will uh, uh, rotate uh, mirror our component on Y axis, so we have it in 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 the correct placement. And now we can start by uh, selecting our input terminal and rotating the insert way and placing here. Of course, maybe not this one. I would like to use uh, this one, so J1, as the input terminal and place it like this. Again, I would like to have the, the, the uh, one terminal or first terminal as the as the power terminal and the second one as a ground. So again, I would mirror here uh, this uh, on y axis to have it something like this. Now uh, uh, we have our two capacitors, two input capacitors. So the, uh, this one has its orientation, and we can place this as uh, as we like. So something like this. Of course, I don't want to uh, see this much text, so simply I will double click on J1. And for this Phoenix terminal, I will just disable uh, uh, disable the comment. Or not, let's be consistent and put uh, scroll terminal 5mm close. Uh, for C2, we have our detailed description here. I will uh, paste comment in our description as well. And uh, here I will just add, uh, 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 add the value. So like this. Again, I will do the same for for our our C2 uh, C2. Uh, the same thing I would do for C3, and let's just add our capacitance in our comment. Now let's uh, rotate C1. This is our main uh, output output capacitor. And again, copy copy the value into comment and save it. After this uh, main output capacitor, let's add uh, C4 as well. Again, we don't need to worry about orientation of this one. Uh, change comment into description. And add the value into comment. And simply like this, save. We have our uh, output uh, connection. Again, let's put the same comment as here. And 
the orientation of one and two pins are in, uh, on this disconnector are correct. And we just need to add, add, add our resistor and our diode, something like this. Of course, let's uh, update this one as well. So, uh, yeah, we'll just copy the copy the value, paste it in comment, save it like this, and here we will just take take red LED. I think this is good enough, and and I think we are done with our component placement. Now let's introduce a couple of uh, power ports. So we will need uh, ground and 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 we would need uh, 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 we need ground and we can add five volts. With this, we can uh, now start. We can simply uh, 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 click on wire, connect uh, the first uh, terminal to input of 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 uh, our voltage re regulator, and we can connect the second terminal to our ground. Of course, just connect the grounds for C2 and C3 and let's add it to the common ground. And let's add this 5 volts node. So uh, 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 this is OK. Let's now focus on the output. So let's connect and again let's copy the ground. So let's connect now the ground the ground. Okay, and we are uh, uh, uh slowly uh, finishing this uh, i don't want like to uh, i don't uh, like to put this uh, indicator let out uh, here because this will make it maybe too complex but i can just take this put it some, somewhere around here uh, copy uh, ground node and uh, now we need to add some kind of let's say uh, label so if I just uh, place net label and place something like here and call this net label, for example, 3.3 volt and save this. Now I can just copy this label, put it here as well and put it here as well. I'll just along this line a bit and now we have uh, we have completed our voltage regulator design. We have our input capacitance. We have our decoupled input capacitance and output capacitors here. Two uh, screw terminals and indicator uh, led out with uh, uh, resistor that will uh, limit this current to I think 2.5 milliamperes. Now, when we have this, uh, we can save our schematic and we can add one additional stuff that is PCB. So, let's call this um, uh, voltage reg and press OK. Now we have our uh, PCB design layout. 
and first thing first we need to uh, import our changes so let's go to the project and import changes now we have a list of all components and all connections uh, from from our main schematic so we can validate our changes everything seems okay and we can execute the changes and now you can see that we have everything that uh, uh, that we need here now we just need to somehow move this and place it uh, something around here and create our pcb so let's start from j1 j2 and add our a voltage regulator uh, add diode that will be let's say close to j1 c1 is our output uh, output capacitor uh resistor should be close to the diode uh, c4 is our coupling output we have our c3 and c2 so it should look something like this but uh, 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 let's check our 3d view right now it look, looks something like this so pretty pretty good and now we need to to make choice uh, do we want this board to be in uh, one layer or two layers if we would like to have it on two layers this placement is okay so we can uh, route uh, signals on the top layer and we can use the bottom layer as ground but if uh, if we would like to create this in uh, as one layer design we need uh, we will have only one layer and because of the screw terminals uh, we need to use only bottom layer because we need to pass these uh, pins from these screw terminals and to uh, to to uh, solder them from the bottom so if you would like to use that design we need to move all of these components all of these these smd components on the bottom side so let's do exactly that so let's uh let's uh double click on c2 for example and we need to switch this to bottom layer again we need to do this for all SMD components because as I said uh, I would like to have this board uh, design in in only one layer so oh sorry uh, just be careful do not select uh, one pad of the component select the whole component something like this so move everything to the bottom layer bottom layer And now we can save this and again double check with the 3d view so as you see now on the top layer we have just our just uh, we have just our con uh, connectors and if we rotate this on the bottom layer we have our components so uh, let's go back now let's uh, 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 let's try somehow to organize this in order to have uh, less uh, this crisscrossing of uh, of uh, of our connections so uh, the easiest thing to do is just to rotate this c2 c3 is pretty much okay i will just move it a bit closer to uh, this one again let's move a bit closer our uh, voltage regulator and do the same thing for for outputs so this looks pretty okay let's move this something around here and exactly so i could rotate this 
but uh, I think this uh, this will be a bit misleading, or maybe not. Let's adjust. And something like this. So now let's just select everything. And let's see. Can we somehow align this? Uh, let's align on central axis. Align on the center axis. And uh, now we can maybe just check one more thing. So select this, align, and I would like to distribute horizontal. But no, let's go back. So let's uh, 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 take in our grid uh, grid editor and place five mils, apply. And now let's uh, make sure that we have the same uh, same distance between uh, J1 and J2. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, between J1 and C2, as we have uh, from J1, J2 to C1. So we can here have, for example, uh, uh, four squares, then uh, three for this one, then again three for this one. And again, three, three, and we have e four. So this is now pretty good. Uh, let's just include. Let's just include our uh, 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 our resistor here. We can later on move. Uh, the silk screen to here, and let's add our doubt for example here. Again, move our silk screen to something like this. Okay, so this looks pretty okay to me. Let's move J1, J2 to here, and now let's uh, select our board shape. So. Now let's select the board cutout and let's create the border of our board. Now we have our uh, board cutout. So now we can start connecting uh, 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 connecting our dots. Um, I would like to create polygon, uh, so one large plane for gr our ground plane. So we can do that by going to the polygon, and when we have it, uh, we can simply uh, create the polygon the size of our board. Or maybe not. We need to just to decrease the step size to five mils. I think that will be okay. Yep. So we will create the polygon uh, size of our board for the ground. Exactly. And click. So we have our polygon. Create. And this will not be the multi layer. This will be bottom layer. Uh, now and the net will be a, a ground layer right now. So now you can see that our ground ground layers are connected. So uh, we can go to project and that's it. Let's reset there. Okay. So now we just need to now connect our input lines. And let's do exactly that. So 
Now we would like to uh, route our um, input and output part and the simplest way to do is by clicking on route and uh, start tracking. Uh, the one thing that we need to change first is in uh, rules and violations and we need to find the section width. Here we just need to increase the maximum width from uh, 10 to for example 100 mils this is too large for our use case, but for either way, because if uh, everything is set to uh, 10 mils, so minimum preferred and maximum width, uh, you will not be, uh, you cannot change the, the, the width of your uh, your your lines inside the inside the circuit maker. So when this that is done. If we can now simply go to route, uh, click on our uh, our five volt line, and uh, by simply pressing uh, uh, Control w, uh, Shift W, we can select our width. So I think maybe 50 mils is more than enough. So let's connect this first line by space. We can rotate the, the direction of the band, but I think this band is okay. Uh, and now again, we need to go this five uh, from the C2 to C3. Again, press OK. Um, for now, because we have exceeded, uh, let's say, the limits that are currently inside uh, rules and uh, uh, checks, I will just reset these markers now. I would uh, repopulate the poly so we have uh, so that we can see our line and I will just now continue by going to to route again let's now route this one to our input and we have we have finished with input input branch so 5 volts will uh, go from our from uh, first pin on our J1 to our uh, uh, our input uh, capacitor C2 to decoupling capacitor C3 to input of uh, of our voltage regulator. Now we need to connect the output and let's do exactly the same thing. So use routing, press on uh, press on output connection and we are now just uh, dragging uh, dragging this output here the good place would be to use space so that uh, this line changes a bit so that we have a direct connection to c4 and again same thing for for c1 and now this is maybe not so nice So, but this is now not okay because if we split, the, if we connect this line, we will split split this ground plane. So I would like to uh, uh, to change this. So I would like to have the first pin here and the second one here, and I can do that by uh, double click on this. Double click. I would uh, enable uh, pin swapping. So now. When uh, uh, we uh, define that, I can uh, double click on uh, the ground pin, J22, select that, and here I need to change something. So here I need to change exactly this net. So I can change this net to 3.3, and instead of uh, rectangular, I can select round and save and with this i change this to uh, 3.3 and of course uh, one thing i need to change the designator to one now i need to create my ground pin select that one change this to two change this to ground of course and uh, let's be consistent and select this to rectangular and click OK. So with this we have uh, now swapped our uh, pin 1 and pin 2 
and we didn't uh, we didn't break 3D view. So the outputs of this screw terminal should be on this side. If we just rotated uh, uh, this uh, screw terminal port, uh, we would fix this, but we would break the 3D view because the uh, inputs to this screw terminal will be from this side, not from this side. With this, we don't have to worry about that. We simply need to, to go to the home, poly, repopulate all, and we are fine. Of course, we need to add route from our 3.3 volts to uh, first pin of our screw terminal. Press spacebar in order to uh, swap this a bit different and press OK. Now, we just need to connect our LED diode and we can we can simply go from here to here and this then connect this short here uh, for this I think that we don't have to use uh, this large wire so press shift W and we can for example use I think 20 mils is not enough so we can just now simply start connecting and after we've done that go to repopulate all and this is basically it. We have our uh, voltage regulator, we have our output connected, we have our two uh, capacitors to ground, and we have our uh, our current uh, limiting resistor and our diode. Let's save this and let's see how this uh, this will look. So, 3D view, and it looks something like this. So we have our RJ1 and J2 screw terminals, uh, 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 which should now be in place, so oriented correctly. So this is okay. And now if we go to the oh, sorry to the bottom side, uh, 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 we can see our ports. So we have our input. C2, C3, uh, main capacitor, coupling capacitor, voltage regulator, uh, indicator LED with register, again, main uh, output capacitor, decoupling capacitor, and two screw terminals. So, this is uh, as simple as it get uh, voltage regulator designed and created in, in Circuit Maker. So please stay tuned uh, when I will add this uh, voltage regulator to one of uh, uh, one of my ESP32 project and maybe compare it to the uh, switching buck regulator. So for all of that, stay tuned and see you in the next video.